Welcome to today's session on expanding Power Automate with DocuSign. My name is Muhammad Ali. Um, I'm a lead solutions engineer with DocuSign. I've spent the last maybe 15 to 20 years cutting code, um, consulting, and really helping a range of companies with their digital strategies. Uh, I've, I've primarily have been helping federal government agencies and the financial sector where Microsoft is literally the de facto standard. Um, I'll run you through a bit of an overview today, give you an idea of the background around where we see DocuSign fitting into the bigger picture, um, the current Power Automate connector today, uh, the DocuSign connector, so, so where it really shines, um, some areas where we've identified some gaps and how we can really address them right now today with existing functionality. And that's that's what I'm really excited about as well. So I'll, I'll leave you with some assets around doing it yourself as well. Okay, I'll give you a bit of an overview. Um, from the feedback we've gotten from our almost 900,000 customers that we have worldwide today, um, what we've understood is there are a lot of different business tools that are being used, 175 on average. And that's an enormous amount just to get your job done. And when you think about their connectivity, a lot of the time there isn't any or it's limited. And what that leads to is a lot of wasted time, productivity, and a lot of frustration by users, which is understandable. Um, and it tallies up to 32 days per user per year, just switching between apps. So you can see how that money and effort and wasting, wasted value is really adding up. And so DocuSign works really well on its own. It works even better when it's integrated and embedded into your ecosystem. Um, so, so the good news is DocuSign already has 450 plus pre-built integrations. That's the ones we know about. There's literally hundreds of others that we don't even know about out there where vendors have, have uh, you know, built us into their solutions. Um, and so we're, what we're doing is we're doing our part to help, some, to help solve some of those disconnects um, between the disparate systems. Um, but importantly, Microsoft is a huge partner of ours, along with some of the other major players like Google, SAP, Salesforce, Workday, to name a few. And when I say DocuSign works better when it's integrated, that's especially true with Microsoft. Um, it's really like, like a hand in glove relationship. If you're simply in Word today or in Outlook and you want to send the document out to get it signed, that's a simple click on the button and hit the send option and you're done. Um, if you're looking for something more complex, like um, pre-filling a, a document, merging data from Dynamics into a quote, um, and then sending that out for, for signature, um, and then have that being stored back into SharePoint, you can do all that with the pre-built connectors that we have today as well. So it's really powerful as it is today with the range of products that we, that we support. Um, but where you're looking for more control and even more automation, that's really where Power Automate works really well. And the DocuSign connector for Power Automate today, it, as is, is great. Um, it extends all the Microsoft and the partner products, literally hundreds out there on the Power Automate platform, and allows them to electronically approve, sign, and utilize a lot of the existing DocuSign functionality that we have. Um, uh, where it really helps today, and so some of the ones that I've highlighted on this screen, so the ability to send templates out. And what, what, where that's really great is if you think about an onboarding for a new employee, you may send them a template for them to complete um, information about themselves, um, you know, the, the, the tax details and so forth, attach you know, proof of address and other information that's required from them as an onboarding pack. That'll be sent off to a manager for approval and then to payroll for processing. That can happen automatically today within DocuSign. Um, another great example is around the post signing. Um, so you can listen for real-time updates directly from DocuSign. So you imagine when that employee completes the signing process and that, that onboarding process is complete, you'll get notified directly um, from within Power Automate and that can trigger off some actions to happen next. So you could um, you know, deploy um, a laptop and, and uh, uh, you know, uh, other access to other systems for them if needed as well. So you can control that entire process um, using the existing pre-built connectors that we have today. The, the connector that we have today. So, so within that connector, we have 15 plus different triggers and actions. 
that you can utilize straight away. But we've identified some gaps. Um, and before I jump into those, the good news is we've recently taken over the source code from Microsoft for the connector. And what that means is watch this space. There's going to be some you know, really good enhancements coming this way. Um, so th that's really exciting in itself. But right now, today, there are a couple of gaps. I'll, I'll, I'll talk about them and I'll tell you how we can really address them. So number one, um, merge fields and data writebacks. So essentially what that is, is the ability to you know, take data, whether it's in SharePoint, for instance, you know, merge it, pre-fill it into a document. So it might be the address of that employee that you might already have. Um, that's something that you can't do today. But in saying that, Microsoft Dynamics, the integration that we have with that already allows for that. So from a CRM point of view, you're covered. You know, merging data, data write back, that whole syncing process, don't have to worry about it. So that's great. Um, sending envelopes. So when I say an envelope in DocuSign speak, it's essentially the ability to send one or more documents out through a workflow. So getting it approved, getting it signed. Um, so think about a procurement contract, for instance, you may prepare it in Word and sitting on a SharePoint site. Um, you wanna be able to send that out automatically. Now you can use the pre-built SharePoint connector, but if you're looking for something a bit more automated or a lot more with a lot more control around it, um, that doesn't exist today. And again, what I'm going to show you here, so, so a bit of good news around that one is I'm going to show you that specific example and how we can address that today with the functionality that we have. So that's where I wanted to introduce to you the actual DocuSign REST API. So, so you can actually harness the full capabilities of our REST API directly from Power Automate with only a light amount of code. Um, so what's important here is the DocuSign, our DocuSign e-signature platform is built based on our API from the ground up. And what that means is the majority of what you can do using our platform and our interface, you can do via the API. So for instance, if you, if you had a requirement around SMS delivery, so someone getting an SMS link for them to sign a document as opposed to an email for them to sign a document, you can do that right now today using our, our API. Um, and you can just embed that as a step in your flow. Um, so that becomes really powerful in accessing all the innovations that we have today and, and future ones that are coming as well. Um, there's two simple steps to set this up. So number one is to create a custom connector, which is a, a Power Automate feature that's available today. And you just point that to DocuSign using the highly secure OAuth authentication method. Um, Number two is you follow that wizard along to create the custom connector. And then the last step, it'll ask you for the structure of, of the call, the, the API call. Um, so what you can do here is you can utilize our developer hub, which has many, many code recipes, examples, working code that you can just copy and paste into that last step. And, and the connector will understand the structure of it, save it, and that's pretty much it. So then you'll be able to teach it, oh, this, can, this action is, is for sending a template with merge fields. This action is sending a dynamic document grabbed from a SharePoint site. So you teach it once and then you can reuse that, that action many times. Um, so I'll, I'll show you that actually today. Um, before I jump into a live demo, um, to give you an idea about how it works. So I've got a basic flow on the screen right now where a, a trigger is at the top in the SharePoint site. If a new file is created in the folder, it'll trigger off this flow to be executed. We get the file content. And then from there, the last two steps are uh, related to that API call. So once I expand them out, what we're looking at here is uh, Compose is basically taking that file and converting it to base64 format. The last step is that custom connector step. So you can see it's quite well structured. Um, you know, it's just got fields for you to complete. And what I've done here is I've showed you some key areas where we can dynamically grab data from SharePoint or other systems and pop them into there. So in, the, in this example, I've grabbed the output um, from that file content and I've popped it into that first area there. I've got a signer email and a signer name that I've grabbed from SharePoint and I've popped it into there. And, and if I need to add an additional signer, or an additional document, I simply click the add new item button there. So 
it's it's really powerful from that point of view. You don't need once you set this up, you don't really need to add any more code or remove any more code. It understands that the structure, and you can dynamically add and remove the amount of documents and recipients that you need. Let me jump into a, a demo right now, and I'll show you what that looks like. So we're looking at my screen here, and what I'm looking at here is a quote. Now this quote is being sent off for, well, I want it to be sent off for execution. Um, now the trigger that I've built into my flow in Power Automate is when that status is changed from draft to send for signature, that will trigger off a process to send that document out for execution to the supplier. So let me do that now, or to, to the customer, I should say. So let me do that now, um, change that to send for signature, and by changing that status within about 30 seconds or so, I'll receive an email for me to sign that document. Now, in the meantime, what I'll do is I'll show you behind the scenes how that works. So this is, let me take a step back here to the start. This is my flow that I've created. So the first step is the trigger is, um, you know, when an item or a file is modified. So the status is modified for that document. Um, I will get, the document properties, which is what you see there. Um, from there, I can check the, the, so that's getting all the different properties there. And then from there, I can actually check the status of it. So um, checking the status is just a standard step within Power Automate. I'm checking whether the status equals send for signature. If it does, then I get the file content. Um, that's normal. I compose the base64 format, and then I send the document out. So we can see here that I'm sending the document out um, and I've, I've got all the variables that I talked about in the previous slide built into this here. So I've got the signer email and the signer name and so forth. So that's all been grabbed from you know, the signer name, the signer email, the file name. So we've just dynamically popped that into here. If I wanted to add an additional document, I'd simply click add and it would see, it would enumerate as number two. And that's pretty much it. That's all that's really needed. Now, heading back to my demo, I've sent this out. Now let's see what it looks like from a signing experience point of view. So I'll minimize this screen here. I'll pop on my mobile phone because it's always, um, you know, people are always on the go. So the ability to actually sign on your phone becomes really powerful. Um, so that's me on my mobile phone at the moment. I'll click on that document that I've just received. And then you'll see that I can then, you know, hit the review document link and it will launch into that. So all you need is a browser and an email address in order to sign a document using DocuSign, you don't need an account or anything like that. First step is to provide my consent to use electronic signing. You won't see the clicks on the screen because I'm actually using my phone at the moment. Um, but what you will see is that it converts it to mobile friendly, responsive mode. So it'll work on any size screen that you have. It'll just convert it to really look great. You can see how easily that is to read. If I untick the mobile friendly option, you'll see that you, know, you have to pinch and zoom to read every single word. It's just not, not a great experience. And you imagine if this was 10 or 20 pages long, this would be, you know, no one's gonna sign off on that. You'd have to wait till they get back to their desk, which delays the process even more. Um, so this way, if I click next, I just sign away um, and then I can just draw my signature there. Um, it doesn't need to match the way your handwritten signature looks from an electronic signing point of view. What's important is we capture your consent to sign the document, A, and B, all the evidence that DocuSign captures in the background to prove that you're the one who signed it. So your name, your email, your IP address, your location, timestamps. Um, we can collect additional information like your phone number. We can do ID proofing. So a whole host of ways that we can tie you to this signature and prove that you're the one who signed it. Press next and finish. And that pretty much completes that, that process there. So, so that's that's completed that process there. Um, I'll I'll share my screen and just finish off that, that demo again. Um, let me just share my slides again. And great. So I've showed you the demonstration there. And what we're looking at here is some real life examples that we've helped customers with using Power Automate and DocuSign. So the first one was around contract management and execution, similar to the example that I just showed you there, the ability to, this was actually a multinational construction group that we worked with. So the ability um, to 
track a project status. And when the project status changes in a list, it will automatically send all the documents out in a, in a sp specified folder to a subcontractor or, 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 or uh, multiple subcontractors. Um, track the status of that. And then once it's completed, push it into Google Drive. So that was their specific requirements. And we were able to very easily do that with minimal code using Power Automate and DocuSign. Quite a simple example, but very powerful in, in the ability to automate that end to end process. Another one was around a, 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 an insurance organization um, having customer online forms that they'd built out. And then the ability to, to um, pre take the data from that form, pre-fill it and merge it into a DocuSign template, have them sign that, make any final changes, and then write that information as well as the signed document back into Microsoft Dynamics. Again, very straightforward. Um, and then the last one was around recruitment and onboarding. So this the similar example to what I talked about earlier around an employment pack going through that approval workflow from an employee to a manager to payroll. So, so those are very common examples that we come across. Um, but, but the truth is DocuSign has helped um, our customers with literally hundreds, if not thousands of use unique use cases um, around the entire business. So, you know, we, we may be, you may think of us around legal contracts or HR, but, you know, if, if you're looking at the examples here, we under, the, the kind of use case, cases we help with underpin an entire business. Um, so from the front office, whether it's sales or services, to the back office, if it's HR, procurement, finance, or legal. Um, so we do help with the entire business end to end. Now, when you couple that with Power Automate and our Microsoft partnership, that end to end digitization and automation becomes really powerful. I'd like to leave you with some very useful guides. The first one is a step by step guide around exactly what I've gone through in more detail around how to set it up. Very similar to what I was talking about there. Only difference is it's a HTTP step as opposed to a custom connector step, but the rest of it's pretty much identical. And you, you can use that example today anyway. Um, the second one is that developer hub that I was talking about. Loads and loads of content, um, guides, API 101. So there's a, a lot of videos to, to get you up and running and, and working code to get you up and running. Um, Postman REST uh, API collection. So you can download that today, put it in your Postman, and you'll have access to all that those um, REST API calls that you can copy and paste into your custom connector. That should be more than enough to get you up and running. Thank you very much.